Last year, Motorola made one of my favorite phones of the year, the Moto Razr 2023. The flip style foldable got almost everything right and was extremely fun to use. It was the phone that taught me the value proposition of foldable phones. As it turns out, foldables are better if you can do mostly everything on the outside screen and open it as little as possible. If that sounds a little ridiculous, trust me, that's not lost on me. This year, Motorola has launched the Razer Plus 2024 and Razer 2024, and both are significant improvements over their predecessors. Put simply, these phones feel like where Motorola should have started in the first place. That's not a bad thing, it just means Motorola is leading the pack from a position of strength. I have been using the Motorola Razr Plus for the past 10 days, here's how Moto made it better. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 starts at around $1000, which puts it in the same price range as the Google Pixel 8 Pro and Apple iPhone 15 Pro. To Motorola's benefit, Samsung raised the price of its Flip phone by $100, making the Samsung Z Flip 6 more expensive than the Razr Plus 2024 in those regions. There's a lot of competition at this price, but Motorola loves to offer discounts, so I would wait for a good deal if you don't need to buy this phone right away. The Razer Plus 2023 saw fantastic deals throughout its first year on the market including a perpetual $300 discount in the US. Will the new Razer Plus 2024 get the same deals? Only time will tell, but the improvements here aren't so groundbreaking that a price cut is out of the question. The cover display is a bit larger and the phone is now officially water resistant instead of just unofficially slash proof. This phone would be an easier choice if it cost less, but at this price, I worry that it competes poorly on cameras, long-term software support, and overall durability specs that make a smartphone worth keeping for longer. If Moto dropped the price by 25% or more, I wouldn't care so much. Motorola only offers one configuration for the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 in the US and another in the UK and Australia. You get 12GB of RAM wherever you are with 256GB of storage in the US and 512GB in the UK and Australia. Don't worry US fans, that's enough space, especially if you use cloud storage for photos and videos. The Razr Plus 2024 doesn't skimp on specs when it comes to its two displays. Each screen refreshes at a blazing fast once. 65 hertz and brightness levels are exceptionally high. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is the first phone with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 chipset that was announced earlier this year. It's a step down from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor found in phones like the OnePlus 12, but Qualcomm says it can still handle more AI tasks than older Snapdragon platforms. I found performance to be acceptable for non-AI tasks and battery life was excellent on the this new platform. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is the coolest phone you can buy and Moto has clad it in some fabulous colors, including the spring green of my review sample and a hot pink that's throwback to 2005's pink Motorola Razr V3. Motorola has found its audience for this phone, people who hate boring slabs of glass and metal, even if the metal is titanium. Everything about the design is thoughtful and sleek, from the vegan leather bag that shows off of the peach fuzz paint job nicely to the humongous cover display that the twin camera lenses float in like lily pads in a pixel pond. The foldable inner screen lays so flat you have to concentrate to feel the crease. That folding mechanism is improved as well, it snaps open and shut in a much more satisfying way than on the Razer Plus 2023, and flicking the phone open and slammering it shut is a joy that becomes addictive. I may need to start making more phone calls so I can answer and hang up more often. The Razer Plus 2024 is also more durable with an IPX8 rating ensuring that it can take a dunk and underwater without issue. It's not all perfect, sure, the cover display is amazing wrapping around the camera lenses like pixel magic, but some important buttons on my apps were obscured by those lenses and while you can resize apps to fit better. 
On Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 6, the cover display is smaller but it isn't blocked by the lenses, Samsung may be onto something here. I also take issue with vegan leather but only because vegan gets confused with environmentally friendly. Vegan leather is a plastic, it is very nice plastic and Motorola says it won't fade or strain and it's still good for vegans because no animals were harmed on its production. Other benefits seem purely aesthetic not environmental, whatever aesthetic is in. If you want a phone that's cooler than what everybody else is carrying, get the Razer Plus 2024, watch eyes widen when you fold it in half and tuck it away, check the smiles on your cover display as you take a group photo. This is a phone for showing off and my biggest design complaint is that I can only choose one color. Check back around the new year as well because Motorola has partnered with Pantone for two years straight to launch Razer phones in Pantone's color of the year. The Motorola Razer Plus 2024 has a larger cover display than last year's Razer Plus and though it didn't need the upgrade, the bigger outer screen cements Motorola's dominance in flip phones. This is how a flip smartphone should look. Once you have used it with its dominating cover display, you will see that no other flip phone comes close. Both screens on the Razer Plus 2024 are incredibly bright, the big interior screen can hit 3008 peak brightness according to Moto and the cover display can go to 2400 nits. That's too bright for a phone I leave next to my bed. Checking messages late at night, I blasted myself in the face with bright light more than a few times. The cover screen wraps around the camera lenses for a signature Motorola look that Samsung hasn't apt for its Galaxy Z Flip series. Sometimes those lenses get in the way as my Roku TV remote app where some buttons are hidden I still think it's a better look than the cutout that Samsung uses. I just wish developers accounted for apps being shown on a smaller squarish screen. The foldable inner display is flatter than ever. I can't see the crease unless I hold the phone at an angle to the light. I can hardly feel the crease either even if I flick my finger back and forth. Photographers say the best camera is the one you have with you. I carry two or three phones at a time so I would say that the best camera is the one I like using the most. Whether or not the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 takes the best photos, it is the most fun camera to use in almost every situation. Video shooting is especially clever with Motorola Razr Plus. The camera automatically recognizes camcorder mode when you bend the screen halfway and aim the camera at the action. The Razr Plus will start recording video automatically. You can stop with a tap anywhere on the bottom half of the screen. Shooting selfies is ridiculously fun. There is no need to open the phone, I just give my wrist a twist or tap the camera app and the cover display shows what the camera sees instead of using the selfie camera. The higher quality main cameras can take selfies and portraits. Holding the folded Razer Plus is easier than trying to hold a larger smartphone for selfie shots and and people loved seeing themselves on the cover display as I lined up crew photos. Here are some camera samples of Motorola Razr Plus 2024. Motorola opts the ante on the cool Razer Plus with a bigger cover display, a more durable build and AI. Ugh, who invited that guy to the Razer party? Even some weird AI features can't spoil all that Razer cool too. These year's phones look better than ever and performs like a champ. I still wish it had better cameras and the AI stuff just needs to go but otherwise the Razer Plus 24 is a superb modern flip phone.